guess what? We're live! Don't spill my beer. It's just the sky kid in the nights of the round table. Give points. Josie. Dan over here. So, I feel at first, happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope that you were able to enjoy the amalgamation of different cultures <laughs> that got smushed into Irish heritage that is corned beef, cabbage, red potatoes, and of course, Guinness and Jameson this evening, or you Tillamore Dew. do anything with green potatoes and pale peas. Yay! Except watch them burn! They're witches! Burn them! Drive them out of England! Only anyway. if they weigh the same as a duck. <sighs> so anyways, I feel as if we need to address the elephant that is the entire world currently. And so, uh, we here at Just the Sky Kid are devoted to bringing you quality programming. That being said, we're not closing down because of the virus. We are consciously aware and monitoring things. We're not completely aloof, nor do we think it's a joke. It is a serious thing. However, we do want to continue to support the underground. Our show is a way to do that. Our platform is something that we've always been able to encourage people to share their music and art. Our page is there to utilize for you. So, moving forward with the current situation, we're going to be screening bands that come on, asking you a few questions. We're going to also provide you that. We're monitoring us close. If he gets sick, if he gets sick, guess what? We're quarantining them. If our kids get sick, you won't come over. If you as a band don't feel comfortable coming to our home, that's fine too. We will reschedule for a later date. Also, we are accommodating. So if you don't want to come, but you still want to be on the show, we do have the capability to do a phone interview. So we can do the phone interview and play your music. We've done that in the past with many bands who aren't able to travel. Um, artists who are being affected by this. Tuesday nights is normally this platform. However, because everyone is experiencing an economic hardship because of this, if you um, were signed up Shrimp Fest, for example, as an artist, and you're like, holy shit, this was gonna be the way that I sell my stuff for this quarter, um, please feel free to contact us. We'll do an interview, we'll show your artwork. As always, our page is a platform for you. So post your music, post your merch. Merch Monday now should fucking take off. Please post your merch on our page on Monday. Write a short description, Hashtag Merch Monday, and then we share it as our group all over the place as You're well. Going to send stuff straight with Lysol first. Yes, we're also taking necessary precautions to ensure that our home is also safe. So besides screening bands that are coming in, we're also making sure that we've done our due diligence to clean our house and make sure it is appropriately safe. Um, so we're very open to communicating. We want to work with people. We don't want to see this become a time where creativity dies because of the panic that has ensued because of this. Be aware. Stop being afraid. Educate yourself. Go all Mad Max. Educate yourself. Take care of yourself. If you're sick, stay home. We do happen to know Something a band that was on the show many moons ago, um, like years we're talking, that has been affected by this, and we're wishing him and his wife well, and I hope that you recover. Uh, this is way back when we were doing 2004, it out of, out of 15. the actual radio station. Yeah. So we do wish um, him well. He has it equally as difficult because he and his wife are sick, they have a child, and he works in the food service industry, so he can't even make money. And because of that, they also don't have insurance. So I think this, as horrible as this is, I think that through this, things that we as a culture need to start asking ourselves is, can we support each other um, in a sort of socialist environment? The answer is yes. We're all taught as children that we need to fucking share and take care of each other. So, this time around, maybe we can push through some things 
that would be important, such as um, uniform education, uniform health insurance, making sure people have food, making sure people have housing, doing those sorts of things to ensure that we as a country are able to adequately take care of each other. And so because we are community centric and we care about you, we're not stopping doing this show. If you had a show that was canceled because of what's going on currently, but you still would like people to know who, we, who you are, we will, on a case-by-case -case basis, take um, lineups and do them live in our basement. Nope, you can't have a show here. We're not gonna do a show here. We're not gonna bring all these people into our home. But if a single band or three bands were on a bill and they want to come and play and show people what they have to showcase, we are willing to do that as well. Again, phone interviews are also a thing. You can record yourself, send us the video, and we'll play it on our show. That's been done before. Uh, by Stop the Presses. So I encourage you, please talk to us if you need help on figuring out how to, to monetize as well as advertise yourself now that this has happened. So we are here for you. Also the Skywalkers. Oh. They, were, they started it. Yes. They did. And then we, we also did um, the Upstarters, which they recorded themselves. They did. Doing, like, while the interview, too. They interviewed as well. So there's lots of ways that we can talk talk to us. That being said, there's only a few more dates right now for this next quarter coming up. We have all of May booked. There are two dates in April and two dates in uh, June. Otherwise, we're booked. Um, Union Park. I don't know. I need to touch base. However, Sunday was amazing. Sunday went really, Thank you really all. fucking good. I got chooched. He did. Thank you all who came out <laughs> yeah, and supported that. And um, again, we're dedicated to helping you. So please, if you're having a hard time, you need resources. Regardless if they're music resources or not. My job previously was to help people stay afloat, learn their community resources, and become employed. So if you need help with learning how to navigate your state or county's resources, feel free to reach out and ask those questions as well. This is about community. This is about helping people. This is about stopping the panic, educating people, and growing together through the arts, which is what we should be doing as humans I feel like anyway. Right you are, you white boy. <laughs> Just C, kidding. C. Also, while Ringo. if we're going to start a revolution, may I also encourage, since it is the United States Census currently, when you receive those forms, please check other and write human. Mm. Fuck race. We're all human. With that, one race. Yeah, one race. So with that being said, uh, we do have Murner Generation joining us on Thursday night. And the song that they sent to us to play this evening for the sneak peek is called Descent of Descent. Right? Mm hmm All right. That's a double entendre. That's how you pronounce those words. Descent of Descent. So. Down. Down of the horrible. Yep. Hey, murder generation. Or the horrible of the down if you want to do it the other way. Murder generation.
got to meet those guys and uh, record them live uh, last uh, punk fest. That's punk fest. Yes, and honestly, uh, <clears throat> what they remind me of, if you ever have checked out, listened to, had a snip, snippet of anything of the Killed by Death uh, compilations from so many years of punk rock, just underground punk rock, that that reminds me of it. It's just raw and like short and like to the point and your face and saying, fuck you. We also got a good chance to play with them up in Milwaukee. Also, that, uh, uh, we played with them at Bremen Cafe this January. Uh, they sounded great. Yeah. I think they sounded the best of all the bands. <laughs> also, check out that venue. <laughs> when Pretty it cool opens venue. again. When it, when it opens, like, like, yeah. I'm sure it all, it's all on lock, fucking lockdown, so. Make get, music a commodity again. Get, get there early. Because everyone, uh, it's a cool venue, and <laughs> it was a very fun time playing with Murder Generation that night, and I'm excited to see them on Thursday. Again. Those, those cats is cool. Again, for all those people just tuning in, Just the Sky Kid is devoted to bringing you the underground music and art scene. We will not be stopping. We will be screening people who come to our home. If you are a band that booked with us and feel uncomfortable, we understand we are taking necessary precautions. We are cleaning our home diligently. We are ensuring that we are well, and we will let you know if we are sick. Um, that being said, we'll also be following up with whoever is on the show uh, two weeks after they play, just to ensure that there are no symptoms and that we haven't somehow come in contact. Continue to check in with people you give a fuck about, um, because that is how you stop the spread of things. You educate each other. You monitor each other you care about each other although it's not <clears throat> just merely i mean for yourselves about having toilet paper and lysol and all this stuff look into things that make your immunity boost and wonderful gut, gut health and all Why that stuff see. eat healthy fucking live longer don't be stupid if only people couldn't be stupid well, or... That's why we spread disease. So, that's why we can be proactive about this. We don't know a lot. They still don't know a lot. A lot of the shit that they're saying that has been advertised either via the World Health Organization or the CDC um, is all that's been gathered currently from the small sample, and even though it's a large number, it's still a relatively small sample as to what this new thing is. So, I don't think it's a hoax. I do have to say, though that we should maybe look into 5G technology in correlation to where these things popped up. If you've studied anything at all about 5G, uh, it has been proven that all of the preliminary tests that were done in small sample sizes showed that the animals exposed to this developed a disease and died. So, stop letting your government fucking kill you. Thanks, now is time for revolution. We need to care about people and take care of each other. So. Camp Jess is here. If you'd like to join the revolution, feel free to start by making sure your census says human. And if the zombie apocalypse happens, you're more than welcome to come here. You'll each have a task, and you do have to listen to me, because I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> to the book depository. <laughs> I got some of those. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kiff's going to read on this Anywho, day. The, 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 the best part of Tuesday Eve, listening to me read March 17th, which is today, today, today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Read it in an Irish accent. Aye, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> March 17th, happy birthday to Nat King Cole, 1919. Clarence Collins, Little Anthony, and the Imperials, 1941. All right, that's really hard to do. I'm not laughing. <laughs> and racist. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't be racist against the Irish. I'm kidding. No. You don't fucking care. Eat, eat, eat my fucking tamale. Whatever. <laughs> that's oh. racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Paul Kantner, Jefferson Airplane, 1941. John Sebastian, The Loving Spoonful, 1944. 
Pat McCauley, Them, 1944. Harold Brown, War, 1946. Scott Gorham, Thin Lizzie, 1951. Mike Lindup, Level 42, 1959. Claire Gro Grogan, Altered Images, 1962. Michael Evans, Flaming Lips, 1963. Oh, boy. Billy Corgan, Smashing Pumpkins, 1967. Because that's what his head looked like. So what, you're saying he smashed his gourd? Yeah. He should have been. Just saying. Just kidding. Yeah, that's because, because the sure. color and the finish of your guitar makes it sound differently. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look that up. Melissa Off, off de, de More Hole, 1972. Caroline Core, The Cores, original. 1973. Justin Hawkins, The Darkness. Hell yeah! I'm leaving a big alone! 1975. Stephen Gately, Boy Zone, 1976. Chart News, 1958, The Champs at number one on the U.S. Singles Chart with Tequila. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Read more. 1966, The Walker Brothers at number one on the U.K. Chart with The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore. <laughs> My not nuclear winner. Oh, 1973, <laughs> Eric Weisberg at number one on the U.S. album chart with Dueling Banjos. I've seen that oh, performed that, 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 not that, that, by that. them or him or whoever he's with years ago. I it's used to have that cassette. Pretty, pretty cool. 1979, Cocaine. I mean, Gloria Gaynor at number one in the U.K. singles chart with I Will Survive. <laughs> 1979, also cocaine. I mean, the Bee Gees at number one on the UK album chart with Spirits Having Flown. <laughs> oh, Thanks, Jesus. Dan, over there. Jesus Christ. 1984. Say cocaine. Knocking on your door. Never Please mind. say cocaine. Also cocaine. <laughs> okay, Howard Jones at number one in the UK album chart with Humans Lib. Oh, God. This is like the first time this has been on here. 2002, Nickelback at number one in the UK album chart with Silver Side Up. Ugh. Gross. It's I'm the bottom of the quarter. That was, uh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, that. Nickelback, Silver Side? Oh, that's lame as fuck. It's made out of nickel, not silver. You guys want to hear a dad joke real quick? Yeah, dad joke! What, what concert costs 20, 45 cents? Oh, oh, I know it, but I'm not going to say it, so you can say it. 50 cent feature at Nickelback! Oh. <laughs> also, Barky, Barky, I'll take a Corona, hold the virus. <laughs> 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 okay. I hate us. When the rapture happens, yeah. it really just means that the smart yeah. people are left. We'll be sniped, and I'll be I'll die peacefully without knowing it. Anyways, yeah. 2002, the I soundtrack album "Oh Brother, oh, Where Art Thou" sniped. at number one in the U.S. album oh, chart. Man. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, I am dun, 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 a man dun, dun, of dun, constant dun, dun. sorrow. I love that song. <laughs> 2007 Mims at number one on the US chart with This Is Why I'm Hot. I'm hot because I'm fly. You this ain't because you're not. This is, this is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. No? Okay. I don't know those words. And gig news. <laughs> While behind the camera, people drop stuff. 1967 Otis. <laughs> Nineteen sixty seven. Sorry. Otis Redding, Eddie Floyd, Carla Thomas, Sam and D 
Dave and Booker T and the MGs appeared at London's Finsbury Park Astoria. Ooh. 1976. Heroin. I mean, Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers appeared at CBGB's in New York City. <laughs> also more heroin. Heron. 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 Okay, 19, Heron. 1988, George Michael Make played the, the first of, his, of four sold-out nights at Sydney Entertainment Center, Sydney, Australia. And I am done reading because I'm done. Also, fun fact, tomorrow night, an asteroid is supposed to meet Earth. <laughs> it's, Kaboom. It's supposed to enter into Earth's atmosphere, creating a uh, burst. So, around 1149, look Always it up. Always look up. NASA is, is directly has reported it. this, that the asteroid 2020 EF will pass into Earth's atmosphere, causing a burst. So... You can hear and see it. You Don't look directly. Be, it will blind you, you, just so you know. However, Don't there's a larger one that's supposed to like, be in our... Wear direction. sunglasses, then you can stare at it. Don't get listen to me. I am not a scientist. Poke a hole in the opposite No, just look at it. Don't I look dare at you to look at it. Our president probably will. Lick frogs and stare at asteroids. This has been Just the Scott Kid. Tune in Thursday night for <laughs> Murder Generation. K. Bye. 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 Do it. Lick buttholes. <laughs> Make peace. Come on, listen.